Hey Torchbearers fam, uh, I'm here with our December Torch Talks. Uh, December we're talking about Christmas and I've got a very special guest with me. Someone who you may recognise potentially seeing around in a few little bits and pieces. Um, this is my mum. Mum, say hello to our Torchbearers hello, family. Hello Torchbearers. It's good to be on the, the podcast on the or the talk today. <laughs> yeah, it's a glo global podcast is what we call it. Um, so we're here for December Torch Talk, so if you're watching live, drop us a comment below. We'd love to say hi, we'll get the comments here. If you're watching later, drop us a comment below. Anyway, say hi to mum, make her feel welcome. <laughs> she's really she's really nervous. She said this is probably one of the three biggest things she's done in her life, which she talked earlier. So the first one was getting married, the second one was having her first child, and the third one <laughs> is going live on Torch Talk. So just just help her feel at De ease. Definitely. Maybe put a joke below or something, just to, just to, to help relax. Um, no, we're going to... Um, have a chat about how we, as we do each month, we as torchbearers can shine light in the darkest corners. And December, I think, is usually it's my favourite torch talk to do of the year because it's Christmas time, um, which is great because it means you can wear your elf shirt. I can wear my elf shirt. Yep, yeah. uh, distinct lack of yeah. festive cheer. It's green. Mum, so. Yeah, it doesn't say Christmas. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, it's great in December because yeah, Christmas get to wear my yeah. elf shirt. Um, you're gonna get presents. You know, just consumerism and all that sort of stuff. Uh, no. <laughs> and eat. <laughs> and eat lots of food, exactly. Uh, but also, I think as torchbearers, it's a really unique opportunity for us to to shine light yeah, and to definitely. Um, and to reach those around us. We always talk every month about how we're shining light to our friends, our families, our colleagues, um, our neighbours. It's it's shining light in the darkest corners where we are. That's as we say all the time. That's the concept of our partnership as torchbearers. We can make music which can go out into some dark corners that a lot of us couldn't reach into physically, personally, where we are. But every one of us has dark corners right where we are yeah. in our lives. It might be in your family, it might be in your friends, in your neighbours, wherever you are. And that's the, the whole point of us joining yeah. together and being torchbearers is shining light wherever we are. And we yeah. love to empower you and resource you um, in that. So I thought this year, being December, being Christmas, a bit like what we did last year, we would take the opportunity to not dive deep so much into a uh, into a Bible study, but we would talk about some practical ways that we as torchbearers can shine light in our worlds at Christmas. Um, like we said, it's a great, uh, unique opportunity that we can do that. So we wanted to, to chat briefly about some practical ways that we could do that. So I invited my <laughs> mum onto the podcast uh, because she is someone who I think does this really well. I've been mm -hmm. able to, oh, no. <laughs> uh, you know, watch that firsthand for, for 32 years, probably the first few years of my life, to be honest. <laughs> but I didn't really take a whole lot of it in. But, you know, about, at least maybe 25 years or so, um, Christmas has been the time where we do that. And so I thought I would just say let's get some yeah. insight and thoughts. So, um, there you go, Mum. Yeah, There's a bit okay. of a run-up. Do you, do you want to just... Just, just chat about what are some of the ways that you think yeah. we as torchbearers can practically shine light this yeah. Christmas. Torchbearers, you're okay. watching, drop comments if you think it's a good idea or bad. <laughs> yeah, thumbs up if you think it's a good idea yeah. and no thumbs if you don't. Some, sorry, someone <laughs> said hi there, Mum, on Facebook. The only problem is it's not telling me who it is, it just calls you Facebook user. So, <laughs> Facebook user, can you maybe comment with your name so we know who's watching? That'd be uh, great. I think one of the things that, as I was chatting with Kayla before, is thinking of this time of the year and you know for so many of us it's amazing time it's definitely my favorite time of the year I love celebrating Christmas because Christmas means family it means coming together it means celebrating obviously the greatest gift that we've ever been given but doing it together doing it as family doing it as community doing it as a church but then also realizing that there's, there's people around us who don't have family who don't have community and don't go to church and not everybody is in the blessed position that we're in. And so sometimes it's just keeping our eyes out and seeing people. And when I say that, mm, I'm sure we can all good. see people. But seeing the unseen people, seeing mm. the ones around, stopping and thinking you know, of neighbours or friends or people who may, maybe they're just on their own. Maybe they don't have family. You know, We've got people that, that I know that we go and see who don't have any family. Yeah. And Christmas for them is a lonely day. And so, or a lonely time of the year. And just stopping, sometimes we can get so caught up in our own bubble, our own people, mm. our own community, our 
own family that we actually don't see the 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 outer you know look looking outside and I think that's one of the great things that we can do as torchbearers is that everything that you have been preaching and teaching and singing about is about taking you know the love of Jesus taking what God's done and taking it out and Christmas is an, an amazing time for us to be on the lookout for other people and that's one of the that's things really I good. try to do whether it's when I'm going for a walk whether it's in the streets whether it's at the shops um, for people who work in retail or people who work in mm. hospitality Christmas may not be the, the, the best time of the year because it's probably the busiest time of the year. Yeah. Now, that's okay if you're the boss and you get all the profits, <laughs> but if you're the one who's serving all the people in the restaurant, if you're the one who's trying to cook all the meals in the kitchen, if you're the one who's yeah. you know, at the cash register at a supermarket, it can actually just be a stressful, you know, a stressful time of year. But some of the things we can do is to stop, and when you're in the checkout at Coles or Aldi or wherever you shop, you stop and think, how can I be a torchbearer to the lady who's just ringing up my groceries or packing my groceries or loading my click and collect in the mm. boot? How can I be a torchbearer to them? Because I may be their 100th customer today. I may be their 200th customer today. They may be absolutely done. But how yeah. can I say something nice? How can I actually show the love of Jesus just in a one minute, you know, kind yeah. of into it? interacting with them and I really believe we can we can do it through smiling we can do it through just saying something simple I generally if I've only got a second I'll say God bless you or something that actually mm. mentions God but I'm not going to stand there and go through John 3 16 with the lady at the Coles check Jesus came to save you from your sins. <laughs> exactly and all the people behind are abusing me because they <laughs> want to get through but you've always got there's always a moment of connection yeah. and so even if it's in something like that when you're paying for a, you know gone out for a meal you're paying the bill you know, you can say just something briefly that shows the take your stop to say, I just got this one second to shine mm. a light and to let them know. And particularly if you can say something like, God bless you, it takes it from you just being a nice person to that that actually does bring God into it if yeah. you can't have a proper conversation. Or have a card or have something that you can just give them. A wristband. Exactly, a wristband that says the future is bright. Something that you can yeah. give people just in that one minute being I think my greatest challenge would be be prepared for unexpected kind of um, interaction with people mm. and when you go to the shopping center you're not just going to buy gifts you're actually going to be a torchbearer as well as being a gift buyer That's and so good. make sure you've got words and phrases ready to say and something in your bag kind of to give I, I, I reckon that's really cool there's, there's a lot a lot of good stuff there Let's jump on that, that last thing, being prepared. Yes. You know, because Christmas, you're going to have a lot of extra encounters with people. Yes. You know, everyone's doing yeah. more shopping or you know, eating out or connecting yeah. with family yeah. or whatever. Um, I love what you said there. That like you might only have a small window. Yeah. So you got a, a couple of things. Yeah. One is you have to reflect Jesus in yes. that moment. Exactly. <laughs> so exactly. you, know, you might have 20 seconds with a shop assistant yeah. or a two-minute yeah. conversation with a neighbor or yeah. whatever. Um, Reflect Jesus in how yeah. you talk to them, in how you love. That doesn't mean you have to get in there and say, Jesus, come save you from your sins. Do you want to say the sinner's prayer with me? John 3, 16. But you can, yeah. you, you can reflect Jesus. Exactly. And, and so I encourage you, don't don't miss those those little opportunities. Yeah. Don't miss those, um, like, like see those chances, yes. see those opportunities that you have. I reckon yeah. that's really cool. And then, like you said, be prepared. Be, yeah. <laughs> be prepared. What are you going to say? What are you going to do? Yeah. Um, that is, like I said, one of the reasons that for me, um, out of all the stuff we've made, I love the wristbands wrist, yes, because yes. if you have a, an instant, you can give them one. I can say I've, I've always <laughs> got like fifteen on my wrist, yeah. um, and you can give them that, not because it it, it promotes us or whatever, but because it if, promotes and, the message. Yeah, and we've deliberately made we've got the futures bright ones, the heaven on earth yeah. ones, deliberately made them that they've got yeah. the the link. So if they go there, they're not actually finding out about us; they're finding about what it means, that, yeah. why you have a bright future. <laughs> and it, every, yeah. every page that they yeah. go to, it leads them in that pathway yeah. to actually yeah, to learn about Jesus. Yeah. So, you know, you can yeah. you can show them love, you can show them light, you can say, hey, your future's bright, be blessed, here yeah. you go, have a look at this, and who knows yeah. what that pathway exactly. can lead yeah. to. Um, but that, you know, that wristband step has to be partnered with you reflecting mm. Jesus. Exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah. that can be the last step of, you know, you reflect Jesus, you show them love, it, it touches them, ministers to them, and you say, "Now, hey, here's a wristband. Go and check out how your yeah. future's bright, or yeah. whatever." And then you can yeah. run out of the store. That's fine. And I, and I think I love that point. That's got a, 
it's got to be fo- following the fact that you have reflected Jesus. Yeah, Don't that's abuse right. a shopkeeper and then give them the future is bright wristband. <laughs> um, you know, they're likely to then you know, get on the website and abuse you. Yeah, so just, <laughs> yeah I don't want to cop your abuse. <laughs> <Yeah. either. laughs> so just so make sure you're doing that. And I try to be nicer to people at Christmas time than any other time. Yeah. And I'm talking about people in the retail or hospitality or neighbours because I believe it is an, a, a specific time. Now, please, hopefully I'm not nasty the rest of the year. <laughs> and I don't mean that. <laughs> I, 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 flies, yeah. Yeah. But I think it's a really, it's a special time where people actually are probably more open, but also more lonely and more mm. needing of it. And that, and you know, I love what you picked up on the be prepared. The other day I had a lady stop me in the, um, up at Knox Shopping Centre and ask me why I had the name Miracle on my number plate. Uh-huh, cool. And she actually waved me down. Huh. And so I pulled into a spot thinking she needed help and then she said, I've, huh. I've been watching you. She's been watching me drive. I don't know whether that was good or bad. But she said, I want to know about the number plate. So I told her the story about how we got it, how it was a miracle. And then I went into the story about how the fact that it had followed a prophetic word about miracles that had come at church. And so we got talking and then she said to me, where's your church? Have you got any details? And I just felt so sad. I didn't have a business card. I didn't have anything to write on. Mm. I didn't have a, a future's bright wristband. I had nothing I except yeah. Around. No, I had I had nothing but a purse and a mobile. I couldn't give her either of those. <laughs> and I was like, and I really felt then that was where the challenge came for me. And as I walked off, I tried to give her as many details. She's like, I go home and try to remember them. I prayed she would, and that, and I said because neither of us had any way of, of connecting otherwise. But I, as as I went off. I just felt the Lord challenge me, will you be prepared next time you go to the shops? Will you mm. be prepared next time you go to the park or for a walk or to the zoo with the kids or whatever to have something ready to be able to give people? And I think that's where the wristbands are perfect. Or, as I said, you've, you've got little kind of futurist bright cards that, you know, have got yeah. details on them. Or, we, you know, like for me, we have, we have church business cards, something that you can give people, but particularly I think the wristbands because they're a gift even more than the business card. Mm. It's like you're actually giving them something. And I think that's this season, God's challenge to me is to see the unseen. Yeah, that's good. And to look out for the unseen. And therefore, in doing that, be prepared. When I see them, what am I going to do? I love that. That's, yeah. that's really good. That's a great challenge. And, mm. um, yeah, I, I, I agree. That the wristbands, like... You know, when we did the wristbands, we just did some wristbands. But I hadn't sort of foreseen yeah. how valuable they'd yeah. be for exactly. this sort of thing. Because the other value I find in them is that I just wear them. I don't have to remember to, to take business yeah, exactly. cards everywhere yeah. I go yeah. or, you know, have them in my yeah. pocket or whatever. I just wear them. I literally don't yeah. take them off and then just give them out. And then when I run out, yeah. I, I replenish. So um, I'd love to, anyone who, you know, any of our torchbearers, anyone who's watching this, um, invite you this, this December, this Christmas mm. season, um, I want to just make our wristbands available to you for free if as many as you want to have to give away i don't want to see you with an arm full of wristbands or i (laughs) I definitely don't want to see you with a drawer full of wristbands come january you can um but i I mean that as many as you can have for this purpose that you you wear them and take them ready to see the unseen yeah and um just say right see the unseen and um you know reflect jesus shine his light yeah. but when you have those conversations have something ready to put in their hand say here's a gift follow yeah. this up because that means they can go and find out more yeah. about who exactly. Jesus is yeah, what that exactly. means yeah. so um, yeah. yeah that would be my encouragement yeah. anyone who's watching this you, we've got a stack of them at, at church at Breakthrough um, but if you you can just contact us we will get you genuinely as many as you will give away um, free of charge because yeah. hey if we could give away a bunch of these this December yeah. it's great how cool yeah. would that be exactly yeah that wasn't Plan. This wasn't yeah. a, a no. plan to talk to um no. <laughs> to do a wristband drive, but I, I feel yeah. like that's a cool, I believe that a cool is, because I said business cards can also look as though you're trying to get business. Yeah, exactly. Which, like you know, like it's I'm trying to say this is my phone number. This is where we. You know, this is our church. But there's something about giving a gift that, that that's takes right. it to another level. It elevates it more than the fact I'm actually just trying to get your business. To mm. I'm actually just giving you this. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, so, that's yeah. really good. Ah, oh, awesome. Okay. Cool. Well, I we might even just like I feel like there's a lot more yeah. to talk about. I feel like that's been yeah. a really good, yeah, good little bite sized sort of snippet. So, that's our challenge to you this yeah. this Christmas, this December. See the unseen. Yeah. Um, look out for them. Yeah. Look out yeah. for those opportunities and be prepared. Yeah. <laughs> be prepared to a to show Jesus and then yeah. 
put something in their hands. How are you yeah. going to follow that up? What are you going to do? Yeah. Um, would you pray for us, Mum? Yeah, to I'd finish like that, yes. That'd be awesome. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you, Lord, for the, the challenge I know that you've been giving me personally, mm. and um, I believe to many others. Lord, around me, that you want us to see the unseen because that's what you do. And Lord, not even just in the streets, not even just in the shopping centres, Lord, but even in the churches, Lord, there is unseen people sitting in churches who may come after a meeting has started and try to leave before the meeting's finished. And Lord, I want, I thank you that you will give us eyes that, Lord, see past our families, see past our friends, see past our needs and see the unseen. See the people who could benefit just from a hug, a smile, would benefit from a wristband that tells them the future is bright. And Lord, we have no idea what that phrase may mean to many people because yeah, right. that, that could be a, a life-changing phrase for people who feel as though there's there's no hope in their life, mm. but the future is bright. And Lord, I thank you that you would, Lord, just help us to, to go into every day, to go into every trip, every excursion, everywhere we go, go into it with new eyes, with fresh eyes, with Jesus' eyes, and see the unseen and be your hands, your eyes, and, mm. and show them your love. And I thank you, Father God, for helping us, challenging us to always be prepared, whether it's having, having them on our wrist, in our handbags, look, wherever, wherever mm. it is, making sure that we are well prepared so that when we see the unseen, we can do more than shake their hand, we can do more than tell them God loves them, we can give them something that they can keep that's tangible to know of your love in Jesus' name. And Lord, in fact, I'm asking you that through this torch, talk and through what we as torchbearers are going to do that father that we will get testimonies from yeah, this christmas amen. lord I'm, I am believing declaring testimonies will come from this christmas of people that we've given wristbands to that we've been able to share your love people who we have seen that to everybody out around them was unseen and that father we will hear back lord of the, the what you have done in these people's lives in jesus name amen Amen. 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 That's awesome. Well, definitely let us Amen. know those testimonies. You know, any opportunities you get, we'd love to hear them. Um, yeah, it's exciting. Okay, thank well, you. Well, thank you, Mum. Give her thank a virtual clap. That's been, that's been really good. I'll thank like, you for having maybe me. Maybe next time you'll just have to do it yourself. I'll, yeah. I might get the group. Um, bless you guys. Have a great Christmas. We're praying for you all the time. Every night we, we pray for you guys, our partners, um, and we love you. We thank you for, for partnering with us and believing in this ministry and what we're doing, and together we're shining light in the darkest corners. Be so blessed and Merry Christmas.